Fellas, thank you very much for letting us come backstage and have a chat with pleasure, you. Pleasure, pleasure. It's been an incredible year for you, actually, mm -hmm. because you've been inducted into the Hall of Fame. Rock and, Rock and Roll, Roll Hall, Hall of Fame, Fame in America, yeah, wow. Yeah, and, and, you, you know, you, the release of Midas. Um, the, the Midas Touch album, album. was in the, in the top 20. Fantastic. Clip. And, and you tour it as well. And we tour it. So busy. 25 day tour all around the UK, doing beautiful theatres like this. What it's could be better? It's a fantastic theatre. Yeah, this is our home for the day. This, uh, then we do a two hour show, or maybe more and it's, uh, it's, it's a joy. You've been going on now for nearly 50 years. God, it's, it doesn't seem, it's like two minutes, isn't it? Does, it's, it's, does it seem like Well, we used minutes? to play, you, you know, Manchester and all that, we used to play the Oasis and, and the, the Cavern in Liverpool and... It certainly doesn't seem like 50. Mm. I mean, Manchester still has a really vibrant music mm, scene, but what was, it by, what was it like then when you were sort of starting it's out? It's the same. Really? It, Probably more so, really. It, yeah. Because, venues everywhere. You, well, you said starting out, the whole music, uh, group music scene was starting out, you know, the homespun music, you know, there were lots of bands going before the Beatles even, and, uh, you know, Liverpool, and probably all throughout the country, uh, and we were creating something, like, up to, up to that time, up to the start of the 60s, it had been, like, solo singers and crooners and, and, and uh, family entertainment and things yeah. like that, and, you know, then American rock and roll had hit, and Bill Haley and, and, and Presley and Little Richard, and we absorbed that, and then we got going in the in you know making records in 1963. And the amazing thing was we sort of repackaged what we'd uh, absorbed from the American, you know, the, the, the jazz here. and the blues that we'd listened to as kids. And then in in, in the 1964, we, we we sort of exported it back to America, and the Americans called it the British Invasion. They, they couldn't <laughs> believe it because up to then it was all one-way traffic from America. Yeah. Did you know that you were actually in? You know, history was being made around you, sort of, at that time. I don't know about history being made, it certainly felt very special, because it, it wasn't just the music. I mean, when, when we got down to London, it was, it was the fashion. It was Carnaby Street and Twiggy and, mm. and, and King's Road, the, the birth of it all. Yes, it felt very special, but didn't know we were making history, no. Yeah, I mean, recording-wise, I mean, we were... In those days, there were only about four recording studios in the whole of the country, and they were all in London. Yeah. You had EMI and Decker and Pi and Phillips or something like that. And so to go down from the north of England where, you know, five working lads in, jumped in the van, went down there, we'd audition, we'd pass the test, we're, to walk into Abbey Road Studios where Elgar and people like that recorded uh, and make, re what we did, we went in there, did a performance, like, okay, uh, red lights on, go. And, and you record your songs, your set list from what you'd done at the Oasis. And, and you record it onto quarter inch tape. It, it, there was only like two tracks. Yeah. That is hundreds of tracks now, you know. So you had to do it right. So all our early recordings, like the Beatles' early recordings, it, it was a, just a, a performance. A red light went on and you, you, you performed. And that was it, no overdubs or anything. It was, yeah. it was a hit fact. Well, Ron Richards, our producer, it was like he worked with George Martin, who produced the Beatles, of course. Uh, he, he was used to sort of like, at 10 o'clock, you know, right, red light, you did it, you performed, or at 2.30 session, you started. And you, were, you did it and you finished. You went around the pub and that was it. <laughs> You know, it, there was no messing around. No. It, it, there was later on, but you earn your stripes sort of thing. As the 60s went on, we could take more time. We had all night sessions and things like that. You know, when you got to sort <laughs> of like... I bet you've got some stories. It was much more a natural progression. I mean, it was like your hobby. If you did it well, you hopefully achieve some success. Uh, and it all happened more slowly. These days on these so-called talent shows, they, they go on there. And the next thing you know, they're doing like Wembley Stadium. You can't do that, you know. We started off in tiny clubs and then got bigger clubs and then got theatres and, and you learn your trade. Did it take you a long time to sort of find what the Hollies was, you know, were about? Not really. It was very, very natural. Often people sort of say, how do you work those harmonies out that you do in the choruses? Well, to be honest, we, we don't really. I remember many, many years later we worked with uh, Mike Batt, a great friend of ours, and, and, and he wanted us to routine songs and I remember him, you know, we were sort of singing the three-way harmony and, and he'd go, hang on, this is the chord on the piano, what are you singing? I'm singing yeah. this. No, it isn't here, you can't do yeah. it. Well, yeah. I've been singing notes like that for yeah. many years, how's it sound? Yeah. He said, well, it sounds great, stick with it. <laughs> you know, and yeah. that, so it yeah. just wasn't preempted as much natural. as it is. We, we, never yeah. went, we never went by the book. I, don't, I think that was a sort of keynote for British bands as well, as compared to American bands, whether it was drummers or musicians. We, we always sort of like, uh, we're off the wall a little bit. You've actually had more hits than the Beatles, mm. you know, so how, how would you sort of, is there one fine element or you, of making a hit or where do you get your influence from to make such fantastic records? 
we've been traveling the world for as you kindly commented around 50 <laughs> years <laughs> and, you, and that that you draw your influences from that particularly <laughs> oh, the early, particularly the early early days in the states you you know you you, you were just uh, what was happening in America, the music of America, the radio in America, mm. and you came back with, uh, w with with stories. Stop, stop, stop is a typical example where, whereby we were taken by our record company, New York, uh, out uh, on one evening, and they took us to a Turkish uh, dancing sort of Bell belly, belly dancing, belly dancing belly club. Yeah. And you know, we were about 18, 19 years old. This was very impressive, and we came back with a song called "Stop, Stop, Stop," which tells mm. all about the evening, and it's still one of the main numbers that we do on stage but, today. And it was a big hit as well, but they, yeah. the guys were writing all the time. If we were in Sweden, there was always like a, a, a tape recorder in the, in, in the van or the car or whatever, and they were always writing. Do you write, ever write songs for other artists? Other artists have covered our songs, yeah. uh, but not specifically, specifically written. No, not really. As, when you say, as Bob's, I mean, for instance, the Everly Brothers did almost an entire album of our songs many years mm -hmm. ago, but that just happened by the way. They'd heard the things, the hits we were, we were having in America, and they wanted to meet us when they're in, in, in London, and uh, we got together with them one Sunday, Sunday afternoon. They said, Come to the studios tomorrow. We did, and within uh, you know, a, a week or less, they'd recorded an entire album. Wow. Yeah, and we play. I mean, we we play on that someone, that someone is sort of is is yeah. doing that. I mean, well, do you find that an, you know a compliment or it, it was sure. a yeah. fantastic yeah, yeah. compliment, For wasn't sure, it? Yeah. Uh, it, it? But it, it's what goes around comes around. I mean, in the old days, I mean, uh, uh, two of the guys you would stand outside the I think it was the uh, what was it the Midland Hotel in Manchester sure. when the Evs were staying there touring the country, and we were kids, uh, and and to then for the circle to come round. And we got this call, I think we were doing the London Palladium or something, and Rod, our man, said, hey, uh, it's Phil Everly on the phone. Have you got any songs for him? And as Tony said, went to the studio. But we did, they, they did our songs. They did three quarters of that album is our Holly songs. But we also played on the tracks as well. Tony was on guitar, along with Jimmy Page on guitar as well. <laughs> yeah, and John Paul Joseph on bass. And I was up north getting some washing done, I think, at the time. But <laughs> yeah. I, I played on two tracks, I think, yeah. Mm. I mean, you've, you've actually toured with some amazing bands. Have you mm. got a favourite or a particular gig that, you know, it's... Well, it's, little stories, like yeah. uh, when we first went to the States and we played the Paramount Theatre in, on, in New York, we did five shows a day and Little Richard was on that show. Uh, and his guitar player then was an unknown Jimi Hendrix. So, right, right, things so like that. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah well, a lot, a lot. we used to tour with the Stones and we would do a six weeks tours with the Stones. And the Kinks Can on you the tell set. Us any the stories from, from, uh, from these times. Don't mention Marianne Faithful. <laughs> uh, you'll be all right then. Yeah. And it was Milky Bars, I think. Anyway, no. Do you know it's I've, it's been lovely to talk to you. I Milky know Ways. You're really, you're really busy, and, we, and you're going to play a couple of tracks as well now. So I just wanted to say, truly an honour to meet you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>